thinks, so we all know it's dangerous, but do we take it seriously? Meteorologist Rich Rogers here for you tonight to remind you the dangers of lightning. Just this past weekend, a man doing yard work in Coweta County, Georgia, was struck by lightning, knocking him across his driveway and out of his shoes. Thankfully, he was treated at a nearby hospital, was released, and is doing well. In Starkville, Mississippi, on Monday, lightning struck this fence post, blasting part of the wood off. This week is National Lightning Safety Awareness Week. Anytime I get a chance to talk directly to our viewers, whether it's through a school visit or when I'm speaking to a civic organization, I emphasize the importance of taking lightning seriously. Always remember, if you hear thunder, go inside. That means a storm is close enough to you that you could possibly be struck by lightning. Stay inside for 30 minutes after hearing the last rumble of thunder. An easy way to remember this is when thunder roars, go indoors. Lightning has been known to occur as far as 10 miles outside the edge of a thunderstorm, so you don't want to take your chances. This man is lucky. Lightning strikes are sometimes deadly. So far this year, seven men nationwide have died from a lightning strike. What were these men doing? One of them was picking blueberries, another riding a motorcycle, and one of the victims was just fishing, just normal everyday activities. This chart shows the activities people were doing when they were struck and killed by lightning. Notice the top two highest risk activities are water related and sports. Yes, this means even at a little league game, folks should head indoors or to their car at the first rumble of thunder. That's a warning sign that you are at risk for being struck. And remember, when you go inside, be sure to stay away from doors, windows, water, and electronic devices as lightning can travel into your home through those avenues. Here for you in the Storm Tracker 26 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Rich Rogers.